Okay, here's the pocket fan. You can see the power switch is exposed right there, um, which I turned on in my pocket. Um, but if you do this, it turns on for a second and then decides that it can't do anything and turns off. It, I had a heck of a time getting this lanyard through those two little holes there. And um, these ears, they're not a problem in my pocket. I thought about filing them off, but they haven't bothered me yet. Uh, to open it, you have to get your fingernail in this little edge right there. And with the lanyard, it's easy to pull once you've got your fingernail in there. So it's pretty hard to open with one hand. I uh, had to get it started with my other hand. Once you've got it open, it's a nice, nice wand. Personal fan. Doesn't make a lot of noise. It's got the low and the high setting. And then it turns off. Everything's great. Um, pretty soon after I got this, I realized I can't see where the edge of it is and stopped it with my hand all the time, which, you know, it stops and didn't really hurt. It's just more startling than anything. And I thought maybe like what they used to or what they still do with the uh, airplane propellers is they paint the tips, paint a line on them. So I thought I might try that to see if I can see the, uh, the disc of the fan blades better. So here I've put a little bit of tape on the blades, and so when you turn it on, now you can see a little better where the edge of the blade is, and uh, over like a dark background with my fingers. Anyway, that was that's an improvement. I don't know if this tape is going to stay on because these blades are silicone, silicone, and uh, yes, yeah, it's already popping off there. So, I don't know, I might, uh, I've gotten used to, um, not sticking my hand in the blades anymore. So maybe I don't need that, but it'll be nice to have up front. Um, the other thing about this is, um, the batteries are up here. This is like battery and motor set and switch. And this is where all the brains are here. It's a little bit off balance when you're holding it. It's not too bad in your hand. Uh, standing up though, we put it reverse the base like this and you stand it up. It's kind of delicate and uh, you know, a little bit off balance. It just tips over. Woo. Uh, there's your USB-C power supply and it also has a USB-A output. And you see this is a circular flat base so if you have a hard surface then it will it'll be a little bit more stable so long as you want it to point at 90 degrees to that surface uh, if it's on a desktop maybe you want to tilt it back slightly it only tilts back a few degrees like this 10 whatever degrees so um, that's something else that could be a little bit better a little bit more tilting up action uh, but other than that, I've been pretty happy with this for a couple of weeks now. Um, oh yeah, the lanyard, you can see this is like all the way at the bottom of this, this cover. And it was hard to get the, it was easy enough to get the loop into that hole, but then turning it around and getting it back out was pretty difficult. I had to use some pliers to help me. Um.